beautiful people and of course you ugly motherfuckers too. <laughs> Tonight we have Big Baby. That is not ladies. He got a sexy name. It's <laughs> the shit got you roll off your phone. Tell them your name. My real name is Shamar T A. Like Carl Everybody Davis. call me Big Baby. It's almost like having something luxury on your arm. I like that. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, tonight I'm actually gonna be drinking. Um, so he has a wine. Tell us about your wine. Well, I have two wines. Um, it's named after me, Shamar J. Rose. I have a. Uh, <laughs> Y'all ladies know about them roses. He got that with the rose. <laughs> okay, keep definitely, going. Definitely. <laughs> he said he's trying to keep it going. Getting up. <laughs> Drunk and wet. I mean, tell him about the wine. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a uh, peach and apricot. Uh, it's hemp based. Uh, it's real sweet. It's at like almost 13% volume alcohol. Tastes real good. And I have a uh, peanut noir. Uh, it's a red wine. The grape is from New Zealand, so it's a little sweeter than usually Pinot Noir tastes, but it's good. Like if you would like a dry wine, mm -hmm. you would still like it. That's for y'all have us who be saying y'all international, not really international, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, those are my wines. It's named after me. I'm coming out with a kiwi strawberry as well. Oh, kiwi strawberry, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. it's, so is the wines like lickable? So, can, you know. If somebody, not me, but if somebody was doing something, they put the wine, you know what I'm saying? They just, let me put it down there. Would that be okay? Yeah. Cool. Have you done that? No, I haven't actually. Interesting. Why not? I don't know. I ain't thought to. Now I'm gonna try. Uh, and tell her to thank me. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh. he brought some gifts. Now you know what? He's doing a good job, y'all. He came right with the, the gifts. And a good man know to bring gifts. What, what you bring me? I brought you two bottles of wine and a set of glasses. You can open them up. You're trying to get me drunk. Take it out the room. Give, <laughs> oh, give you me the world treatment. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Huh? This is so cute. This is so cute. I don't even want to drink this shit. So that's the Pinot Noir. That's the red wine. Mm -hmm. It goes good with lamb, steak. Things like that. I know you're vegan. Yeah, but this is more your taste. In terms oh. In terms of what you like to eat. What is what you trying to say? She me. Just not that kind of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will be well, gobbling. <laughs> well they both go good with it. Either or. Oh, this is cute. That's the peach and avocado the one that's in. Oh, there. I like this box. We have that pink now, you know I love that pink. Which one are we gonna be busting down there? Yeah, we're gonna drink this one. That's the gift. Oh, that's nice. Y'all better get y'all one of these gifts. Can they order these? Yes, they're online. And if y'all be saying something, I want to talk to her. Y'all be in my inbox like, hey, good morning, beautiful. Order me something cute like this. What's the website? It's shamartierrose.com. We're going to make sure we put it on there. Yep. We're going to have a link. It's a deal going on right now. That bottle's usually $100, but now it's for $60. Cool. Yeah, these are the, this is for the studios. Gift to the studio. That's what we're going to be sipping out of. Yeah. <laughs> you trying to get me drunk. Mm, you look tipsy. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what I do when I get tipsy. I'm leave that for it later. Herbert, what I be doing when I be drunk? You want me to tell him? You're uh... <laughs> No, don't tell him. What you do when you drunk? <clears throat> I just be talking shit. That's it? You just saying a minute. Come here and pull me up. Or whatever they say. Who said? Who had that song? Pull it up, pull it up. Rihanna. So while while you were doing that, we were talking about what were we talking about? <laughs> the pussy getting you hot. That was before the cameras came <laughs> on. You don't want to talk about that? Hey, let me get the sweat off my face first. The glass. <laughs> so <laughs> we were talking um actually last week. That looks good. That's how I like it brown. How much you want? That's enough. <laughs> Oh, I like, let me say that again. <laughs> how, how much? Let's repeat that for me. Repeat what? Let me say how much I want. <laughs> how much you want? See, fellas, y'all could take a lesson from him and say that again. How much you want? 
y'all be sucking some ass on you want to see my dick no <laughs> okay nobody wants to see y'all damn dick that's what you used to me and the dms go down that's ridiculous do you be in people do you be in the dms no i'm sending no dick pics what you be sending in the dms hard eyes little, little shit here no i'm not gonna go overboard what's the hard eyes mean i like what i see do they be responding 95 percent of the time so just a hard ass some people do that's all you seeing yeah i don't do i mean it's it depends on who i'm, who I'm, who I'm writing if you really like her what you sending i'm gonna text her what if you don't got her phone up and it's through the dm what you sending i don't know i keep it light in the dm because it's too much um People try to show off too much and show people shit that you send them, so I keep it like, if I don't get the number, then I let it go. So you just flat out just ask for the number? Yeah. I might flirt a little bit, but I ain't finna well, go overboard. Okay, what's that like? I want to see if my follow, if my fans, the guys that say they want to be my suitors are doing a good job. What you got? In terms of the DM? Mm-hmm. They say go down in the DM. I'm telling you, it's just because there's too much going on in the DM. So, I ain't doing too much in the DM. Well, I just want to give a shout out to all my followers, all my fans, because y'all doing an amazing job. I be reading all y'all marriage proposals. You know, the Good Morning Beautifuls, those are kind of played out and dry, so those are kind of like over with. Because um, I have some really great um, poems and everything in there. Y'all doing an amazing job. And I see y'all, so keep up the good work. I love y'all. Marriage proposals? Yes, I had one guy. Then he day, oh my God, I damn it, would have married him if he had not been all the way in Africa. <laughs> oh, he was trying to get his green card. And and he had chat GTP right that motherfucking <laughs> and that was amazing. I got them and would damn near use that <laughs> as my motherfucking proposal to somebody. somebody. No, this is for me, bro. And he was ready to go. Uh, if he hadn't been all the way in Africa, some wherever he was from, I'd have, I'd have at least got them and called his ass. It was good. <laughs> it, it at least Are you ready to? Minimal. I read him first. <laughs> oh, okay. Minimal, I would have at least called him. You think I, he was chat GPT? Better. Sure. Hell yeah. Sure. That yeah. shit was so damn good. I said, girl, respond to him. <laughs> we both was ready to marry his Because okay. we know y'all like the two foot of whatever. And y'all always be talking about who we come as a package. He, he did a good job. Dang, I never thought that you was if I was a If I was oh. a broken um <laughs> chick that really needed a man, I don't want to get him. For sure, for sure. You almost went. <laughs> nah, I wasn't. <laughs> but. Yeah, I keep it like this again. Let's go. Mm. Unless we got to understand the connection, then how I cut up. But not if I don't know you. So what's cutting up? What's got to cut up? Little shit, a little freaky shit in now. You know, vacation trips, what's, ideas, and all that. Freaky? Give me a freaky text. A sex. Sex text. Ooh, I text somebody. I wanted to f uh, fuck them in my office. That ain't freaky. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. well. mm -hmm. That's not freaky. Mm -hmm. That's not, I, let me do if I was sexy. Yeah, give, then. give give it to me. Then I'll make better. Okay, yeah, I like. What would I say? I'll, I'll give, let me see that I, I sent a good one. Hmm. Oh. I said, I'm on my way over there. And when I get there, I want you to open the door and just pull your dick right out. And just shove that motherfucker just all down my fucking throat and grab the back of my head and just hold that motherfucker like like this until you nut. That's free. Oh. <laughs> then I did a good job. Shout yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Mm. I like it though. It's very detailed. Pretty much so. You have to be detailed. You got to really. I feel like when I'm sex and I want you to goddamn it want the pussy as soon as I say on my way. No, I get it. I bet the door way. Yeah. Then you send them a little, 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 you know what I'm saying? A little teaser. Well, you got me sweating you a little them. bit more. That's what the pussy do for him. Man, Ooh. I have him sweating. You, you know what I'm saying? that in the camera a lot. That's what he said. <laughs> Let me wipe myself. Ooh. Ooh, that's what he said. He's <laughs> <laughs> wet. Oh, it was wet. I don't want to wipe myself then. <laughs> it be too much. Uh -huh. You know how it has to be so wet and then it keeps slipping, slipping, slipping out, slipping out. You can't even get them, them motherfuckers just, whoa. It, it's, it, it's sometimes it be like that. You know? 
Sometimes they be like that. You have to eat babe, it's it's too much down here. You have to wrap it a little bit. And it get back wet again. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what you're doing. How the wine taste? This is good. I can get drunk off of this because it's really, really sweet. Yeah. And I think because I don't really drink a lot anymore, when I drink, it tastes too much like alcohol. And this almost just tastes like nothing, so you could easily get drunk off of this. Yeah. You're doing a good job. You're trying to trick them half of. Don't you have a great time? He, he, you trying to fuck? He, when he, if he pull out this, ladies, this got thirteen percent. Yeah. Oh, ladies. If he pulled this shit out, you you getting fucked. <laughs> My cousin sure. called me. He's like, man, that shit make you either want to fight or fuck. And it's because it's so <laughs> sweet. You've been guzzled the whole motherfucking bottle. You thought you went over there to keep your pussy to yourself. You halfway through the bottle got him ready to put that motherfucker in his pocket. Yeah. That happened to you? Yeah. Tell us about it. I mean, I always drink my wine with No, people. that's not what I said. I said, tell us about it when she got them and ready was got them and come out them pet It was amazing. I ain't gonna go into it. said, bitch, it's amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. No. So, so tell us, um, tell the people about uh, who you are, what you do. Okay, like I said, Shamar Zeros. Everybody call me Big Baby. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I dip and dab in a lot of different things. My main thing is music. Artist management is my first love. I have a degree in music business. Um, due to COVID, it had, had me open up to doing more business because you know, artists got shut down, tours got shut down, we couldn't do too much. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that much money being made. So I started getting into tour role, credit, fixed credit, mm -hmm. um, business credit, um, right now, I'm actually in a, me and my friend in the act of start signing this new act. Mm -hmm. So, that should be dope. Can't wait to get back to the Is it all, another artist? Yeah. So, I know me and you were talking last week and we were talking about the music industry and how it was changing and how, you know, it has been affected or artists are kind of like in these weird spaces. How has that been for you and for the artists that you used to manage or even trying to get new artists? Mm. I think... COVID, it stopped a lot of shit, to be honest. Yeah, I'm hot, y'all. Ooh, it, <laughs> it do. It's wine now, you're right, too. I sweat in the wintertime, making snowmen. But pretty much, like, a lot of artists I used to deal with, they really not, they're, like, in the reset stage. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they're not really buzzing, not on tour. So um, I took a step back from it. It wasn't making me any money. Um, certain artists got say unsigned <laughs> or not on certain labels anymore so i really mm -hmm. just been focusing on myself so that's why i came out of my own line because it was like i was actually tired of somebody having control of my profits in my life because it's like an artist to just say fuck everything and that's i make money off that artist mm -hmm. so it was like i need something for myself so that's why i started getting into tour role mm -hmm. i got my own wine it was supposed to be a champagne at first due to the fact of me moving around in the music industry mm -hmm. I was like, I could just hand everybody a bottle of champagne, artists I know, and they're going to post it. Pretty much what Jimmy Iovine did with um, mm -hmm. Beats. But um, when I talked to my lawyer about it, he was trying to get me the white label. Mm -hmm. And which, I didn't want to put my name on somebody that didn't know how to taste. Mm -hmm. So then I met a friend who was making his own wine. He introduced me to this guy in Chicago where he has his own winery. Mm -hmm. And I went and learned how to taste wine, make wine. I made different batches so I came up with the two that I like, and which is the one we mm -hmm. have here. So Dang, it's really made with love. Oh, yeah. It took about three or four times to, to get it right. Yeah, definitely. That's nice. It's really good. I really, really love it. I'm going to um, really enjoy that. Um, I was, I want to drink, like I said, I want to drink sometime, but it's stuff that just tastes so much like alcohol that I can't really enjoy it. So I can really see myself really enjoying it, having a nice glass of wine. So thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Cool, cool, cool. So. I want to talk to you about, we were talking about, you guys, I have a dating show coming 